are to be holy because I am holy. Since you call on him as your heavenly father, the impartial judge who judges according to each one's works, let each live each day with holy awe and reverence throughout your time here on earth. For you know that your lives were ransomed once and for all from the empty and futile way of life handed down from generation to generation. It was not a ransom payment of silver and gold which eventually perishes, but the precious blood of Jesus Christ, who like a spotless, unblemished lamb, was sacrificed for us. This was all part of God's plan. For he was chosen and destined for this before the foundation of the earth was laid. But he has been made manifest in these last days for you. It is through him that you now believe in God, who raised him from the dead and glorified him, so that you would fasten your faith and hope in God alone. So, because of your obedience to the truth, you have purified your very souls, and this empowers you to be full of love for your fellow believers. So express this sincere love toward one another passionately and with a pure heart. For through the eternal and living word of God, you have been born again. And this seed that he planted within you can never be destroyed, but will live and grow inside of you forever and ever. For human beings are frail and temporary like grass, and the glory of man fleeting like blossoms in the field. The grass dries and withers and the flowers fall off, but the word of the Lord endures forever. And this is the word that was announced to you. So abandon every form of evil, deceit, hypocrisy, feelings of jealousy, and slander, and gossip in the same way that nursing the things cry for milk. You must intensely pray the pure spiritual milk of God's word. For this milk will cause you to grow into a be holy, nourished, and strong for life. Especially that you have that taste of the goodness What's up, Nathan? <laughs> So if you're coming to lose a living stone, but he's rejected and discarded by men, but chosen by God, and Christ is the outside. Come and be his living stones, who are continually being sealed into a sanctuary of God. And now we're sure that's holy priests offering up spiritual sacrifices that he readily accepts through Jesus Christ. For it says in Scripture, Look, I lay a cornerstone in Zion, a chosen and priceless stone. Whoever believes in him will surely not be disappointed. As believers, you know his great worth. Indeed, his preciousness is imparted to you. But for those who do not believe, the stone that the village rejected and discarded has now become the cornerstone. Hallelujah. The stone. Woo! <laughs> and whoa, and a stone that makes them stumble on a rock of trouble. They keep stumbling over the message because they are forced to believe it. And this they were destined to do. Hallelujah. Whoa, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Father. 
my God, for breaking up on the internet. <laughs> wow. Thank you for saving us money for hospital trips. <laughs> yeah. We just trip out on the glory. Hey, watch the furniture. <laughs> Healing. The 
flesh is being destroyed. He's dealing with fear, he's dealing everything. He's being totally healed. Jesus is gripping your heart, literally. Whoa! He's grabbing your heart. Oh, he's healing you. He's redeeming you. He's restoring you. He's regenerating you. Oh, he's reconciling you to the Father. Receive Jesus for you.